This is Amstark, and in this video we are looking at proof by contradiction. So proof by contradiction is used to show that if a statement were true, a logical contradiction would occur. So the first question we have here is proof by contradiction that there exist no integers x and y for which 30x plus 20y is equal to 7. And the first thing we have to do here is assume that there are integers which could do that. So we're assuming the opposite. So assume... Assume that x and y, x and y are integers. So assuming that these equal integers. And now we're going to look for a logical contradiction which would show that these cannot be integers. So first of all, we'll factorize um, this. And what we can do is we can take out a 10 so that would be 10 and then 3x plus 2y. And that will be equal to 7. Now this is the part where we can now show that they cannot be integers because 3x plus 2y is therefore going to be equal to 7 over 10. Now, as an integer plus an integer cannot equal 7 over 10, then this assumption must be incorrect. So you just write an integer plus another integer cannot equal 7 over 10. And that is your final answer. That is why um, this cannot be correct because a, log a logical contradiction has occurred. So the next question here says that prove by contradiction that root 2 is irrational. And this is a very common question that you may have. And it can be used to show that root 3 is irrational, root 5 is irrational, root 7 is irrational, and so on. So in order to do this, we are going to assume the opposite, and we're going to assume that root 2 is rational. And a rational number can be shown as a over b. Now, the important thing about this is that they are both integers, a and b are both integers, and... The other thing, which is extremely important in the root of this, because at the end of it, it will come back to it to show, um, to contradict the statement, is that there are no common factors. So that's the two things you have to show about A over B. They're both integers and there are no common factors. So then to start off this, we're going to square both sides. And this will get 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. Then we can times both sides by b squared. So then we get 2b squared is equal to a squared. Now, this means that a squared is a multiple of 2. So a squared is a multiple of 2. And then because a squared is a multiple of 2, then a is also a multiple of 2. So if we therefore let a equal 2n, that means that if we put it back into the thing here, then we have 2b squared 
is equal to 2n squared and that means that 2b squared is equal to 4n squared therefore b squared is equal to 2n squared and therefore b is equal to 2n now this is the important part because now we know that b is a multiple of 2. So this is important because as both a is a multiple of 2 and b is a multiple of 2, then they are meant to have no common factors as we said here. But because they clearly do have a common factor of 2, this contradicts the original statement and that shows that root 2 is an irrational number. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye!